<clears throat> I, I do think that scary might describe our weather this weekend too, because Jay is just, you know, he's he is begging for it. And About I don't 70 know the weather, and sunny. I don't know that the weather gods are going to hear you. No. Jason? <laughs> Jason, Jason well, here. Have you. I been elevated to a weather god? Yeah, <laughs> sure. That's pretty well, lofty, Christy. <laughs> look, I've always looked at you as a weather god. I mean, in my eyes. I, but here's what I've learned a long time ago. Mm -hmm. You guys are about marketing, not production. You don't make the weather. You just tell us what it's going to do. Uh, sales, not management. Yeah, that's right. You. We've got to follow suit here. And we're constantly learning, constantly evolving as far as the weather forecast goes, especially here in Northeast Ohio. So this is something that I have to talk to you guys about here. As we head for the next studio, let's talk about what we're expecting here because it is a big weekend across Northeast Ohio. We've got a lot of things going on here. Of course, Key Air Cotton's always talking about three, three things popping. We've got a whole bunch of other things popping across the area once we look towards Friday and heading in towards Saturday. Here's how it shapes up. Okay, a slow cool down overnight tonight across Northeast Ohio. Notice the 70s we have on tap right now, quickly going down into the 60s past sunset and then eventually getting into the 50s. Look at that drip drop around 3, 4, 5 a.m. for tomorrow morning. So, okay, so here's the rundown, what it looks like here. You can expect us to have windy conditions and even some light rain showers lingering throughout the area for us on Friday. Lake effect showers will be accompanying this cold air coming right across our lake, which is about 63 degrees as of right now. However, the weekend outlook looks a lot brighter with sunshine as high pressure is moving back in. Rainfall accumulations here will be a bit more all over the map. Periodic showers here and there. And as I said before, we'll have some of those lake effect showers coming on in as the low begins to pull away here. But this is where the trough is right now. It hasn't even made it to Lincoln, Nebraska. Check this out. They're at about 70 degrees right now, but Pierre 41, Minneapolis 53, and even Chicago 20 degrees warmer than Minneapolis right now, still in the 70s. So this frontal boundary is slowly crawling, but it's going to be packing a punch here. We're still kind of on that western side of the area of high pressure to the south of us. So this is why we have sort of that southwest wind coming on into the area. Satellite and radar is showing that we're dry at the moment. We're likely going to be dry over the next, uh, let's say, about eight, ten, eight, nine hours. With that west wind quickly changing to a north wind, you're going to see these 70s go down, perhaps about 20 degrees or so this time tomorrow. So here's your National Design Mart hour by hour forecast. Again, clouds moving on in overnight tonight. 11 p.m., a couple drip drops over the lake, nothing too terrible. But notice temperatures, upper 50s to lower 60s. The low continues to wrap up to the north of us. We'll have some light showers banding across the region for tomorrow morning, 5, 6, perhaps even 7 a.m. Could be wet at times, and then we'll turn the faucet off a little bit. We'll have a few sprinkles in the afternoon hours, but the real game changer happens once we start looking Cuyahoga County over towards Ashtabula, 3, 4, 5 p.m. Guardians forecast, at least for tomorrow, I don't think it's going to be that bad, and I'll show you that in a few minutes. 50s, perhaps even a few upper 40s overnight tonight. Tomorrow on the hour as you're planning out your Friday, cloudy skies looming, but also these 50s will likely feel like the 40s because we'll have those breezy north winds coming back in. Here's the 6 to 10 day outlook from the Climate Prediction Center. Notice this little sliver stretching down from Wisconsin all the way down to the Carolinas below average temperatures likely in our forecast. So we'll have that trough extending farther down. Morning lows, upper 30s, low 40s. We could be talking about a freeze for some areas there Saturday night heading into Sunday, but we'll kind of roll that off there by the time we get to Monday and Tuesday and perhaps even Wednesday of next week. And it all plays out even in the afternoon highs in your junior home mortgage seven day outlook. Look at these stair step stepper of temperatures, mid 50s Saturday, low 60s uh, expected on Sunday. Lots of sunshine. In fact, a sunny Sunday. We'll go for a walk here. 62 by Monday and Tuesday, a couple drip drops by Wednesday and Thursday before another frontal boundary moves back in. Okay, Jason, a couple drip drops. I caught that. A couple drip drops. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good.